Welcome to the world of Sexenia. This is a video guide to getting around in the in-game interface and a help towards getting you started on your path in our game. I want to be one of the first people to welcome you to Sexenia. And of course, if you ever have any questions, feedback, or comments, always please feel free to contact a member of our community team as we are always looking for feedback and ways to improve the game. Now, one of the first things that I do want to show is if you look at the top of the interface, you'll see the username that you are logged in under, the city, and the vice royalty that you're in. This also will link to your profile so you can always read what you have on there. If you ever need to change any of your profile, you can always end up going to settings and then down to profile. Now, if you have any questions, you can always reach out to the community team, but you can also go to your town, town hall. And then when this page loads up, you can see who your mentor is. In this case, in Widu, the mentor at the time was missed. If you click on that, it will open up a profile page for Miss that shows them some of the different information and you can click on message player. From here, this will load up the message screen and you can put in the subject and any question that you may have. And then send send and then click on send when you are ready. Now, one of the other things that I do want to point out to you is if you look along this next bar, you'll see a money area, which is Fresnix there, which is the main in-game money. You also have silver, which is used primarily in the caravan. Next up over here is your health. This is a percentage there, and it will have a health points if you click on that, and you can see a little bit more as to what the breakdown is for each one of those. And I will show you the maximum amount, what you currently have, and the percentage. Then you have a hunger status. This is something you want to pay attention to as far as eating. And I will show you how it increases things and decreases. Your work status there, and then the drunk status that's listed there. And that changes when you get to drinking and stuff in the tavern and you can look up some of the different tutorials for more information on that. Then we have the news section, which is news that's for your specific vice royalty that you're in, as well as the public uh, representative broadcast. As you can see, there's a couple things there. Then a notification screen, which is information regarding changes that are happening towards your character, like it could be a check has arrived or something to that effect. The next one that looks like a dice is the Dice Master, which is a game that can be played in the caravan. If you click there, it'll take you there. This is the in-game messages that you have, and then to write a new message there. Next up, I want to show you the task list, which is a great tool to kind of give an idea of what you need to do every day. If you click on that, it will take you to the daily task, and you'll see on there that there's eight daily tasks that you can do. And it will tell you eat, drink, do stuff in the caravan, train, graveyard, work, forge, our special games, and the temple. And if you hover over the question mark, it will tell you exactly where you can do some of those different activities. So it is definitely something that's good to be able to do. Um, every day and if you do all eight of those you'll end up getting a Pandora point which can be used towards premium uh, items in the game or improving stats so it's definitely something I recommend you doing every single day then you have your checklist and this will change based upon what level you are since this character is listed as a level zero it shows you what the current uh, requirements are again you can go ahead and just click on them and find out more information. And that way you're squared away on that. Now, as you notice, there are two tutorials listed here. You can get to the tutorials by clicking on the open 
or you can go to the tutorials or also go to the supports to tutorials. You'll notice also in the support menu, there's the videos as well as an item guide, skills of Secphenia, and a lot of other things that you'll use as you progress through the game. Now the tutorials, there are a number of them. You do not need to read all of them to begin with. I usually recommend starting in the basics category, and this will tell you a little about some of the different basics of the game. And I definitely recommend reading the guide to role-playing in the world of Secphenia. This will kind of help you get a basic information about some of the areas, um, including Bravia, Fenia, and Keen, which are the three main areas which players can start off with. As you can see with this character, they're starting in Widu and Keen. Now with that said, um, another area that you can get help is by going to the outskirts and going to taverns. If you click on that, it'll open up a page and you'll see that there is a listing of everyone that is currently in the tavern. So you know which tavern to go into. When you click on either of these two links, it will end up taking you to the form to log in. It usually helps to log into the form first and then go there and then you'll be good to go on that. Speaking of the forms, on the forms you can go and get to them by hitting forms main index and that will end up loading the page for you. And here's an example of the forms right now. Since we are a site that is in active development, we do have a suggestion box that you can always use to put in ideas. We're always willing to listen to new ideas. Sometimes they may not get implemented immediately, but it is something that we will review over, over time. Um, we do also have a bug tracker that you can use as well, and I'll show you that in a moment. The other thing to show on the forms is the RP areas. For example, there is the Vice Royalty of Bravia, Vice Royalty of Fenia, and the Vice Royalty of Keen. Now, as you noticed from this character, this is in Widu Keen. So your town area for this would be the town of Widu. Now yours will look different based upon which Vice Royalty you selected and the town that you ended up in. So definitely feel free to go in there, say hi, meet new people from your area, and interact with them. Uh, there will be different things that happen from time to time. Your vice royalty may throw different balls. They may throw little tournaments. So definitely reach out and feel free to reach out to even like your mayor. Or if you go to the vice royalty and click on castle, you can also go here and see who is the leader of your vice royalty and click on any of these links and it'll take you to the profile and you'll be able to talk to them as well. Now, if you do end up finding a bug, something that's not working the way that you think it should, you're always more than welcome to message me or use the mantis at the top there and that will open up the bug tracker and you can submit a bug there. So if you ever do need to write me or a member of the community team, you can always end up going uh, straight over to the mail icon there to start a new mail and that way you'll be good to go. If you can't remember who to contact, you can also go to the bottom and click on this community team and that will load up all of the different members of the current community team and you can send um, either the form mail or in-game mail to us and we'll be happy to help you out with that and with all this said i hope that this does help you learn a little bit more about the in-game interface of course if you have any questions feel free to contact us and i hope that you enjoy the world of secphenia